Welcome, my name is Reverend Sarah West. I am the curate at Holy Trinity Cathedral and I am so grateful to have this opportunity to offer evening prayer but also to welcome you to join with me in evening prayer even as we are apart. I hope that you are all settling well into lockdown. I know that for myself it's been particularly challenging with two young children running around all the time but we're making it work and I just urge you if you need any help, any support during this time, please reach out to any of the clergy. We would be happy to assist you and just to talk if that's what you need. Uh, we begin this evening using a liturgy that is available in the link to the description of this video. Uh, if you are unable to access the link for any reason, feel free just to follow along and let the words sink in as we pray this prayer together in spirit. Otherwise, you are welcome to join along with me and say the words in bold as usual. So we begin evening prayer. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Great is the Lord and worthy of all praise. Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honour, power and might be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Etifano a te karaiti. Let us praise and worship God who is calling us together, even if we are apart. Let us celebrate God's majesty and delight in the wonder of God's love. Together we shall confess our sins and receive assurance that we are forgiven. As the scriptures are read, we can allow God's word to speak to us and ponder its meaning for our lives. In our prayers we give thanks for God's goodness. We pray for others as well as for ourselves. And we offer our lives anew in Christ's service. All this we do because we believe in the presence among us of our Saviour Jesus Christ and in the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. Hear these words of Scripture. Love one another, for love is of God, and whoever loves is born of God and knows God. Spirit of God, search our hearts. Let us in silence remember our need for God's forgiveness. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty and merciful God, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with all our heart. We have not loved others as our Saviour Christ loves us. We are truly sorry. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Our psalm today is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. And our Gospel today 
is taken from John chapter 8, beginning at the first verse. Then each of them went home, while Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning he came again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and making her stand before all of them, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. And once again he bent down and wrote on the ground. When they heard it, they went away, one by one, beginning with the elders, and Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go your way, and from now on do not sin again. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For you, Lord, have looked with favour on your lowly servant, and from this day all generations will call me blessed. You, O Most Mighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown, strength, shown the strength of your arm. You have scattered the proud in their conceit. You have cast down the mighty from their thrones and have lifted up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your people for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise you made to our forebears, to Abraham, and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let us say together the Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Make your ways known upon earth, O God, your saving power among all peoples. Renew your church in holiness, and help us to serve you with joy. Guide the leaders of this and every nation, that justice may prevail throughout the world, 
Let not the needy, O God, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Make us instruments of your peace, and let your glory be over all the earth. We will now move into a time of intercession. To the bidding, God of grace, please respond. You hear our prayer. So let us pray to God, who alone makes us dwell in safety. For all who are affected by coronavirus, through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. God of grace, you hear our prayer. For those who are guiding our nation at this time in shaping national policies, that they may make wise decisions. God of grace, you hear our prayer. For doctors, nurses, and medical researchers, that through their skill and insights, maybe many will be restored to health. God of grace, you hear our prayer. For the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and peace. God of grace, you hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Creator God, Father and Mother of us all, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And as our Saviour Christ has taught us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Gracious God, you have given us much today. Grant us also a thankful spirit. Into your hands we commend ourselves and those we love. Be with us still, and when we take our rest, renew us for the service of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. In darkness and in light, in trouble and in joy, help us, Heavenly Father, to trust your love, to serve your purpose, and to praise your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful God bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. And for the blessing. May Christ who calls you to take up your cross give you strength to bear your own and one another's burdens. And the blessing of God, our Creator, Redeemer, and Giver of life, be with you always. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today in the evening prayer. God bless you, and we look forward to praying with you again tomorrow.